in this tutorial we'll see the third callback plugin which is notifications callback plugin here we'll see how to send slack notification from ansible using community.general.slack plugin in the first video we have seen how to use aggregate and std out there we have seen how to print the playbook or task time data and then we have seen how to convert the complete std out data into json format now we'll go to the documentation of slack callback here within this particular callback plugin we have all these parameters available but webhook url is the mandatory parameter which we need to pass that has to be under callback flag this we need to add in the configuration file before we start making changes in the configuration file we need to remember that this callback plugin and slack module is different in slack module we use within the playbook we can write a task for connecting to slack and send the notification we have to pass all the parameters in this format and this will be able to send the slack message but in case of callback plugin we have to add these details either in the configuration file or in the environment variable and if you look into the requirements so we need to install this particular library in the environment for this to work i'll copy this i'll go to vs code i'll give pip install ready table and it is already satisfied in my environment i have installed it previously and this we can comment this i have added in the previous demo now first we'll enable slack so i'll search for callbacks enabled within this i'll add slack as well copy the name put it here and in the documentation we can see there is a mandatory parameter and this has to be added under callback underscore slack so i'll copy these two values it is better to add either in the beginning or in the end you should not add in between because all these values are coming under default if you add callback in between ansible might not be able to read some of these default configurations now we need to get the webhook url so what i'll do i'll go to my slack here first i'll create a channel click on add channel create a new channel and i'll give ansible task events next i'll make it as public and now we need to generate a webhook url from the browser i'll go to apa.slack.com slash apps here i'll create a new app select from scratch i'll give ansible notification bot and i'll select the workspace click on create app and if you want to add some icons you can even upload the icon i'll select this file here i have same icon in this particular workspace and for this app it is not mandatory to have an icon 
Now I'll click on incoming webhooks. I'll enable that. Add new webhook to workspace. Since I'm using same icon for both, it's showing in this way. If you are adding separate icon for both, it will be showing that here. And I will select the channel. I will select Ansible Task Events. Give Allow. Now here we can see one sample curl request. I will copy this. For testing whether this notification is working, what we can do? I will go to VS code and here we need to install curl if you don't have curl you can do to do apt install curl I already have this I'll just paste this message so this is going to send a hello world message to the slack channel I'll open the channel here enter and let me open Slack. so here we are able to see that ansible notification bot is sending a hello world message so now this is my webhook url i'll copy this i'll paste it here now we'll try running the playbook Now let me open the Slack. So here also we are able to get the execution message. Now if I comment this, this will be keeping the value. And if I go to the documentation of the module, we can give even additional options like the channel name, username, validate certs. Since Slack is having valid certificate, Ansible is able to validate it. So it is not mandatory to give validate certs false. The default value is true. And this is the only required value which we have given. And instead of this, even we can set this as an environment variable. I'll go to VS Code. And here first we'll check the existing environment variables. I'll give print env enter. And these are the available environment variable. And if you want to check whether this webhook variable is available, go to VS Code. And here I'll give print env and Slack webhook underscore url and this value is not set so i'll try to set the value i'll give export and copy this paste it and equal to within double quotes i'll copy this data enter and now we'll try running the playbook again. So this time it is sending the Slack message. So you can see the details here. The task status is successful. And if I try sending some message and if you run it again, this will be able to differentiate the new message now without even having the config data we are able to send the slack notification now if you want to remove this value we can do unset enter and 
now if you run it this will not be able to send the data because we don't have environment variable or configuration for webhook url in this way we can use the notification callback plugin for sending notification to the third party softwares